section. Uh, in this talk, uh, I will mainly to uh, introduce a new technique to realize the on-chip chemical spectroscopy. Uh, light have been used for chemical sensing for a long time. Uh, in the right figure uh, is the chemical absorption fingerprint for some posters. I'll use this. Okay. Uh, Yeah, uh, the right figure is the chemical absorption fingerprint for some common chemical in gas phase. Uh, as you can see, most of the chemicals have absorption band in the mid infrared range, uh, which makes it an important band for chemical sensing. Uh, however, to date, uh, most of the chemical uh, spectroscopy demonstrated are based on the benchtop instrument like the, the Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy or FTIR. Uh, thus, we have the motivation uh, to realize the 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 chemical uh, the the chemical of spectroscopy on chip. Uh, but there are several challenges. Uh, first is the design challenge. Uh, how can we enhance the interaction of light with molecule in such a short past length limited by the, the chip. Uh, the other problem is uh, from material. Uh, silica, uh, one of the most common material used for low index undercladding, become opaque uh, after 3.5 micro. Uh, Let's uh, make the typical SOI platform for fabrication of tonics device could not be used for, for mid infrared device fabrication. Uh, so we have to find uh, find some other good materials for meeting free on chip device fabrication. Uh, to overcome the, the challenges, firstly, we would like to use the on chip cavity enhanced approach to overcome the past length limitation. Uh, unlike the, the typical waveguide, uh, waveguide sensing just one single pass to interact with molecules. Uh, uh, cavity enhanced uh, spectroscopy can make light circulate into the cavity uh, so that you can increase the, 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 the path length of light evanescent interact with the molecules. Another benefit for on-chip enhanced spectroscopy is that uh, the resonance peak of uh, the transmission of, 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 of the, the, the cavity not only give you the information of the, uh, the, the optical absorption, but also give you the reflecting index information, uh, which enable this techni technique multi-parameter analysis for chemicals. For materials, uh, we would like to choose the chocogenic glass. Uh, chocogenic glass are amorphous compounds contains chocogenes like sulfur, selenium, and terurium. Uh, they are, uh, they have wider transparent, mid, uh, mid uh, IR transparency, uh, and also through tuning the composition of uh, elements, uh, the, the optical properties uh, like the reflecting index can be easily tuned. Uh, another benefit is that, uh, chocogenic glass are amorphous. So it is, uh, it can be more realistically fabrication on different kinds of substrates. Uh, for example, uh, we have fabricated a uh, mid infrared uh, chocogenic gas resonator on casein fluoride substrate. The reason we chose ch uh, casein fluoride substrate is because it has a transparency window up to 7 micro and relative low uh, reflecting index of 1.4. And the fabrication is just follow the typical lift off process. Firstly, we spin coated uh, with uh, the Casting for our subject with the photoresist, negative photoresist. Then we use UV lithography to pattern it. After that, uh, we use thermal evaporation to deposit the glass film uh, on the top of the subject. Then we use acetone to remove the undesired part of the, uh, and left the, the device pattern on the casting for our subject. Uh, this is the, the SEM cross section of the, uh, the chocogenic waveguide device we have fabricated, and this is uh, the simulation with uh, optical profile. To test the device, we have hand built a uh, um, fiber and file coupling system uh, to uh, and showing in the left photos. 
Uh, the system works follows. Firstly, the the meeting free light from the external cavity uh, quantum cascade laser uh, was uh, coupled uh, using a casting price to a uh, meeting free fiber. Then we use uh, use the uh, use the fiber to align with the on chip waveguide and couple the light into the waveguide. After that, we use another casting ball lens to collect the output light and image into a meeting free camera. Uh, through integrated uh, the photon cause of the optical mode, uh, we can get a transmitted intensity of the our device. Here is the transmission spectrum of the resonance peak we uh, we, we have uh, we have measured, and the interested uh, quality factor we have achieved is uh, as high as one to one point four ten to three. And the equivalent propagation loss is about 0.8 dB per centimeter. Uh, to, uh, to, to, to initiate the chemical sensing demonstration, uh, we have uh, used the uh, organic solvent to demonstrate the on-chip spectroscopy. Uh, the, 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 the organic solvent we chose for the blank uh, solvent is the cyclohexene because it has relative low absorption in this wave uh, in the 5.2 micro wavelengths. And uh, absorbing the chemicals we use is the ethanol uh, try to, uh, to demonstrate the ethanol or uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, and taurine. Uh, uh, during the test, uh, we just uh, uh, just drop the, the uh, different concentration of chemicals uh, to cover the whole device, uh, uh, and then using the the system with uh, the middle infrared measurement system uh, to measure the transmission change. Uh, this is the 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 this is the transmission spectrum from a same resonance peak. Uh, uh, of a same resonator in different concentration of ethanol. As you can see, with the increase of the ethanol, uh, the resonance peak uh, blue shift, and also the extinction ratio decreases, which means that the absorption is increased. Uh, through Lorentzian fit the, the, the resonance peak, we can get a propagation loss of the resonator in different uh, conditions. And using linear fit, uh, we can get the uh, the absorption of ethanol, uh, of pure ethanol, uh, in particular wavelengths. Uh, through gathering different, uh, uh, through gathering the absorption uh, from different uh, wavelengths, uh, we can get uh, the, the 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 chemicals uh, chemicals uh, absorption profile. This is the. Uh, uh, Based on this method, we have measured uh, the uh, the on chip uh, spectroscopy graph of ethanol, taurine, and uh, IPA or isopropyl alcohol. Uh, to uh, uh, one thing I need to mention is that uh, uh, this uh, this graph is measured from on silicon on casein fluoride uh, resonators, uh, but the detection principle is pretty same. Mm. The, the dot of the list of the, of the, of the, of the of data is come from the on chip measurement and the line is from the uh, uh, from the conventional FTR measurement. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the on chip infrared spectroscopy result agree well with the conventional uh, FTR measurement. Uh, besides. Uh, for on chip chemical, uh, as we have uh, talk, uh, have discussed in the beginning of the talk, uh, the on chip cavity enhance, uh, cavity uh, enhanced spectroscopy not only give you uh, uh, the absorption information, but also can give you the refracting index information uh, simultaneously, uh, which enables the us the ability to for spectroscopy analyze the multi components. Or the chemical mixtures. Uh, here is the 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 the, the transmission spectrum for for uh, for single components. Uh, as you can see, with increase of ethanol, uh, the the resonance peak blue uh, blue shift. Uh, while we when we increase the concentration of taurine, uh, the 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 resonance peak red shift. Uh, 
and as you can see, the, the extinguisher change for ethanol and taurine are different, which means that the ethanol absorption uh, is uh, higher than taurine in this particular wavelength. Uh, through applying the, the mixture of ethanol or taurine in the cyclohexane, uh, we can get a, a get a resonance peak shift from the red shift to the blue shift. And we can uh, and 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 if we uh, uh, when we just uh, plot the the wavelength shift and absorption in a two D uh, two dimension plot, uh, we can identically uh, uh, identically analyze the the difference of ethanol and taurine. And also we can uh, uh, we can get the the, the uh, quantified analyze the concentration of mixture the their mixtures. Uh, last. Uh, this on-chip cavity enhanced spectroscopy not only gives you uh, the ability to analyze uh, the single uh, single chemicals in the in a, but also enables the multi-parameter analysis uh, for chemical printing uh, fingerprinting. In summary, uh, we have fabricated a mid infrared chocogenic gas resonator on casein chloride with the intrinsic quality factor as high as 1.4 10 to fifth. Uh, we also first demonstrated the, the mid infrared on chip cavity enhanced spectroscopy. And these techniques enable us to uh, have a multi dimension sensing for chemical mixture analysis. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the fabrication help from Dr. Dennis Plus Group from University of and the UD uh, Nano Fabrication Facility. And also the silicon on case sub device from Dr. Morris Group from uh, University of Minnesota. And finally, I have to uh, acknowledge the funding support from NSF and NSF uh, as well. Uh, thank you for your attention and thank you.